ring-a-ding, 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 and ling-a-ling, that's the alarm clock. Rise and shine, you know what that means It's time for school and school just rocks Let's get dressed, put on your clothes And don't forget your socks It's breakfast time, I'm feeling fine Brush those teeth and give your face a wash Beep, 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 you know what's outside It's the school bus come to give us all a ride All aboard the school bus, yeah It's big and yellow, super clean, the doors are open wide The stop signs will help keep us safe so we can give the driver a high five uh. I look around and find a seat right next to my best friend Then beep beep broom and off we go, one big loud roar straight from the engine Smiling kids all over town The wheels on this school bus go round and round Check out this cool school bus, right? Have you ever been down the road and seen one of these bright yellow school buses like this right here? Yep. Why is it yellow? So everybody can see it coming down the road. Isn't that awesome? Come on, let's check out the rest of this stuff. Oh man, aren't these big mirrors? Oh, those are really, really cool. Can see all around the school bus. We'll check these out right here. This is really, really cool. Ooh, man, those are cool. Rear view mirrors. So of course, so the bus driver can see all around the entire school bus, right? Those are really, really awesome. So we got those up there. One and two and three. And of course, we got some on the other side. It's pretty awesome, right? Oh, check out this thing right here. This is really, really cool. This is called the crossing arm. Have you ever seen something cool like this? What's it for? Well, of course, if you got a little kid coming this way, right? Oh, yep. The bus driver can't see him down here. So of course these kids have got to walk all the way around it. So the bus driver can see him, right? That's pretty awesome. Have you ever seen the inside of a school bus engine before? Check this out. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. We got one latch right here. Some big old lights there. Check that out, all right. Walk around this lovely crossing arm. Yep, got one more on this side here. Oh, right there. Here we go. Let's check this out. Oh, wow. This will be a big engine. Come on. Check this out. This is a huge, huge engine. Well, let's see if we can tighten a few bolts real quick because they look a little loose from over here. So what do we need? A wrench, right? All right. So let's see, let's tighten a few things here. Right there. One right there. Oh, that's nice and snug. Let's check this one here. Oh yeah. Ooh, 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 we going the wrong way? No. Nope. There it is, all nice and snug. Well, of course, this has gotta be tight. This is a hose. And it connects your radiator to the coolant fluid. Of course, it keeps the engine nice and cool so it don't overheat, right? Cool. That's awesome. That's a huge engine, right? All right, well, let's close this lid back. All right, here we go. Oh, yep, there it is. Just like that. Right around that crossing arm. Got one latch. 
There it is. Yep. Right around this crossing arm. So everybody can see me, right? Yep. <laughs> and then one more latch. There we go. Let's see if we can get it on there. Yeah. There it is. Of course, we got some more rear view mirrors. That's pretty cool. Check this out. What is this? It's a stop sign. S-T-O-P. Stop. And then we've got these really cool flashing red lights. What's that for? So whenever the bus stops and kids have got to get out or get on, it stops the traffic from coming that way and coming onward. That's really cool and really safe too. Oh, even on the other side, stop. And they got the lights over here too. That's really awesome. Check this out. Right down here in this compartment, B-A-T-T-E-R-Y. What's that spell? Battery. Oh, let's check this out. Check out how big this battery is. Oh yeah. Or should I say batteries? One and two. It takes two batteries to run this big old school bus. That's really awesome. All right, let's get that back in there. There we go. Watch that in there. Shut that. There it is. Oh man. Well, check this out. It says South Carolina Public Schools. Oh, that's who owns this bus. The South Carolina Public School System. That's pretty awesome. Check this out. This is a huge wheel. I wonder how many wheels are on a school bus. Well, it's got one, two right here, and one up front on this side, so that makes three. So on the other side, that's six. Six wheels. That's a lot of wheels for a bus. Cool, let's check out the back side, come on. All right, my friends, let's check this out. Look at all these cool flashing lights. Let's see, we've got orange, we've got red, and we've got white. I wonder what they mean. Well, orange are your blinkers. That lets everybody know if they're gonna turn left or they're gonna turn right. And of course you got red, that's for brakes. That lets everybody know if they're gonna stop. And then of course we got white, that lets everybody know that it's gonna back up. It's for reverse. Those are really, really awesome. Check this out. We got a bumper sticker. It says, we stop at railroad crossings. And there it is, railroad crossing. I wonder why. We don't want to get hit by a train. So three things, are you ready? Stop, look, and listen. Every time he comes to a railroad crossing, he's got to stop, of course. He's got to look both ways, make sure there's no gray train coming. And then he's got to listen. Oh, is one coming? Is one coming? That's what they got to do at a railroad crossing. That's really cool, right? To become a bus driver, it takes a lot of hard work. You got to take classes and you got to take some tests. You even have to drive around on a training pad. That is where you have to learn how to back up in a straight line and you have to parallel park. Aren't bus drivers totally awesome? Oh, well check out this really cool, awesome big door. This is called an emergency door. And of course, we only use this in case of an emergency, right? Yep, but let's check it out. You ready? Oh, check it out. It's even got an alarm. Oh, that's really, really awesome. Well, let's climb up in here. What? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah. Well, this is where you gotta go whenever an emergency and you gotta come out the back. So what you gotta do? Well, you can't jump out. So this is what you gotta do. Come to the edge. You gotta sit down and then you can get off. Of course, you don't wanna jump off and hurt yourself, break a leg or something. So you gotta make sure you're safe. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, let's get this back. Oh yeah, that was really, really awesome there. Sweet, look, they've even got flashing lights on the top. Those are really cool. Come on, let's walk around this way. Oh, check out all these cool windows. Those are really awesome. All right, well, let's go inside, come on. All right, my friends, we're in the back of the school bus beside the emergency exit door. That's cool. Check out all these seats. Oh, these are really awesome, right? Oh yeah, but there's so many of them. Well, let's see if we can count them all. There's a lot. Let's count by twos. Can you count by twos? Let's do it. 
we got two, four, six, eight, and there's 10. Check out these really cool windows though. Oh yeah, check it out. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's really, really cool. They go up and they go down. Oh, that's awesome. So, windows are cool. Let's get back to counting. So we got 10, right? 12, 14, 16, 18, oh wow, 20. Can we go up any higher? 20, 22, 24. There's 24 seats in here. Oh, with three kids on each seat. I wonder how many kids can fit in here. Let's do some math real quick. Let's get out our notebook. Oh, yep, there we go. And let's get out our, our pen. So let's add all this up, do some math. Let's see. All right, we got, what do we say? 24 seats by three, nine wrenches, two drills. Add that together, multiply. Oh, that's 72 kids. Oh, wow, that's a lot of kids, right? Oh yeah, that's awesome. Let's put that back in our pocket. That back in our pocket. Check this out. This is really cool. This is like a little kid seat. Oh, for a car seat, for a little baby. Check that out. Got some straps, snap those in there. That's really cool, right? Oh yes. And then it just folds right back up in there. Ready to go. Oh, sweet, that's awesome. All right, well, we're almost to the driver's seat, but check this really cool compartment out. Oh, yeah, safety equipment inside. Oh, let's see what we got. Check this out. Well, this is where our first aid kit is up here. We got some other cool safety stuff, and then check this out right here. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. This is called an emergency triangle. Oh, this goes out on the road whenever something tragic happens or they need some safe they break down check that out it's a triangle it's orange it's got three sides you ready one two three. Oh, that's awesome right all right let's get that down we can probably slide that right there let's check out this driver's seat let's do it <laughs> all my friends we're in the driver's seat of this school bus how awesome is that check out this steering wheel it's so big, it's even got a horn. Oh yeah, that's really, really, really awesome, right? Oh, check out this. This is a really cool little mirror. It's called the student mirror. I mean, so I can see her and I can watch all that's going on back there. I see you. <laughs> check this out. This is like a sun visor and it can move all over the place. Of course, we don't want sun in our eyes while we're driving, right? Yes, sir. That's awesome. Check this out. It's even got windshield wipers. Oh, that's, oh, and it's got, oh yeah, check that out. We can clean them off. It's a big windshield. Gotta make sure it's clean so we can see driving down the road, right? Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and there, oh there we go. <laughs> awesome, check these out. All these cool buttons right here. Oh, we got red ones, we got orange ones, some yellow ones. And this one right here, this opens and closes the door. That's all you gotta do is just flip the switch. <laughs> That's really awesome. Check this out. You get to push this button right here and it turns the amber flashing lights on to let everybody know that we're about to stop. And then whenever we do stop, all we gotta do is open the doors. And of course, all the red flashing lights comes on. The stop sign comes out. Check that out. Can you see that? That's cool. And the crossing arms out front. So now all the kids can come out and go where they need to go. Oh, and then all we gotta do is just close the door back. Oh yeah, that's so awesome. And check this out. It's even got a radio. That's cool. Let's see if we can get somebody. Hello, base. This is Handyman Al. We're ready for our field trip. Let's go. Oh, come on, let's go on our field trip. Look who it is. This is Mr. Steven Shable. He is the director of education here. 
<laughs> Look what he has. How are you, sir? I'm well, thank you. This oh is a peregrine falcon. Oh, it's a falcon. It looks really, really cool. And look at those talons. Oh, those are really cool. Oh, I wonder how fast one of these things would fly. This is actually the fastest animal on the planet. Oh, wow. 243 miles an hour when they're diving. Whoa, 243 miles an hour? That's really fast. Absolutely. He's looking right at me. <laughs> oh, I wonder what they eat. Well, you don't have to worry about them eating you. They only eat other birds. This is a bird that would eat something like a duck or a pigeon, and that speed helps them to knock those other birds out of the sky. Wow, that's really, really, really awesome. Oh, so what's their wingspan if they can fly really fast? Well, so it's not really about the wingspan. He does have about a two foot wingspan, but it's about how sleek and aerodynamic he is. So he's built like a rocket for diving out of the air. He's got some really cool eyes. So I guess, I guess he's got some really cool eyesight. Absolutely. He can see things a, a lot better than we can. Probably sees color that we can't see and has really large eyes for his body size. Oh, his body size. So how much does he weigh? He weighs about a pound, believe it or not. Not much, not much in there. And that's a, a pretty big bird to weigh oh, a pound. Wow. He's got some really cool feathers. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, he's awesome. Oh, so how old is this falcon? This guy is actually one of our older birds. He's 21 years old this year. So he's wow. been doing this for a long time. He's been an education ambassador for his entire life. So how, how long do they live? So in the wild, he would have been lucky to make it just a few years. It's hard to be a bird out there, but um, it's possible he might live 30 or 35 years with us here taking wow. care of him. He's got a really cool beak on there. Looks yeah. like he's got some holes. So tell me about his beak. Well, so the, the birds of prey like this peregrine falcon use their beak to rip their food into smaller pieces. So oh, when wow. he catches another bird in his feet, he uses that beak to tear it into manageable pieces. He's also got nostrils there on his nose. You can see those two little uh -huh. holes. He breathes through those uh, and they're really special. They allow him to keep breathing even when he's diving at 200 miles an hour or even wow. faster. So do we have some more birds that we can check out? We do, absolutely. Oh, cool, well, let's check those out. Look, I know what this is. This, this is a kind of an owl. It is. Right? What kind of an owl is this? This is called a barred owl because he has all these bars on his feathers, all these lines going across his plumage. Wow. This is the most common owl we have here in South Carolina. It's really awesome. He's got some really big eyes. So he I bet does. he can see really well. He does indeed. He can see very well in very low light. So he's nocturnal, meaning that he's mostly active at night. So he's got to use his eyes a little differently than the falcon would. Wow nocturnal that means nighttime right oh that's really 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 cool so what does he eat uh so barred owls eat a lot of things um anything that's smaller than they are but lots of things like mice and voles and insects um, we see them eating crayfish that's something that they eat a lot they live in the swamp usually in wet forests so anything you might find in there that's small enough he'll catch it in his feet and eat it oh sweet so why does he have this round thing around his eyes like that. So those, believe it or not, are his ears. The things around his eyes are called facial discs, those plates of feathers. And they wow. do the same thing that your ear flap does. They catch sound and send it into the to the part of his body that helps him hear. He can hear so well that he can catch food he's never even seen before. Wow. An owl that has ears? That's really, really cool. So why do you have this bird here? So this bird was actually found when he was very young. Someone found him on the ground. He had fallen out of his nest. And instead of calling us, which is what they should have done, they took him home and they tried to take care of him and they created some problems. He's what we call a human imprint. He basically thinks he's a person um, instead of <laughs> wow. thinking that he's an owl. Well, that's cool. So if we find a bird out in the wild, what should we do? So the best thing to do is take a step back and, and find someone that can help you. you can always call us here at the center. We're happy to help no matter where people are and, and get them in touch with the right folks. Um, but the, the idea would be to, to make sure that there's a problem before you get involved in it. Awesome, awesome. And if I can see right, I don't know if you see it, but like there's like another another eyelash or he has or, a third eyelid it's called a nictitating membrane it comes across his eye you can see it. it's kind of a blue color he can protect his eye and still be able to see even um even though he's got a protective layer over his eye wow, that's pretty really cool. cool now i've heard i don't know how true it is can an owl really turn their head all the way around can they really turn their head all the way around he can't turn his head 360 right. degrees in one direction but he can turn it 270 degrees in wow. each direction so yeah. he can completely turn around and look right behind him. Absolutely. Oh, that's really amazing. Oh, I really like owls. All right, my friends, now we get to help out 
with training some birds for a flight demo. So what are these two birds that we're gonna be using today? These are called Harris Hawks. They're one of the only cooperative birds of prey in all of the world. They work as a team, which is pretty cool. And they're found right here in the United States in the desert. So right now, Katie and Audrey are gonna call them in to this perch. Here oh, comes wow. one. Oh, wow. Here it comes. Wow, look at that. Oh, and what did she put on? She put So she gave him a reward. She put a little piece of beef on wow. the perch. The other one didn't do exactly what he was supposed to do, but he flew right past. They get wow. rewarded. It's called positive reinforcement. We give them a little bit of food. Um, we use beef in our training um, when they do what we ask them to do. So this guy got a reward. The other one that didn't do exactly what he was asked didn't get a reward. Oh, wow. Oh, she's about to call him over there. Oh, wow. That's really awesome. <laughs> And just us being here helps prepare them um, because usually birds don't like to be around people and so they're a little nervous. So having us this close is helpful. We'll see That's if we awesome. can bring them in from over here this time. Well, let's see. <laughs> oh, wow, can you see that over in the tree over there? That's cool. Oh, look, here one comes now. Oh, wow, check it out. Oh, hey there, buddy. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. And he got his treat. He got his reward. That's absolutely awesome. Was there? Oh, oh wow! There's the other one. <laughs> this is really cool. Training birds must be really fun. It is a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, and of course, they've got their little bells on them. Right, they've you know got where bells, at. and they also have radio transmitters, so you can see oh, attached wow. to their tail a little antenna there. That's so that if they decide really not to do what we ask and fly away, we can find them again. So what what actually keeps them here and not flying away? The only thing that keeps them here is the fact that they've been trained, that staying here gets them everything they want. They get rewarded wow. for being here, and so they generally want to stay here with us. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. That's absolutely awesome. So we've got some more, some more training. We do, we have some training that you're going to help us with. These oh, birds wow. hunt rabbits, and you're actually going to be the rabbit for us today. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's try it. All right, so what actually are we gonna be doing to train these with the rabbit? Well, so Handyman how you're not actually gonna be the rabbit. You're just gonna be the power for the rabbit. Oh, wow. Here in my bag, I have what's called the dummy bunny. Oh, He's just wow. a rolled up ball of carpet. <laughs> he looks kind of like a rabbit. You're gonna take this stick, and oh. when I tell you to, you're gonna run so that the bunny follows behind you, and the hawks are gonna fly in, and when they catch you, well, sorry, when they catch the rabbit, then uh, you just let go of the string, okay? Okay, Sound awesome. good? That sounds great. All Let's right. do this. He's got a little treat on there. <laughs> He's like, ooh, it must taste really good. Oh, hey, my friends. This is me, Handyman Hal. We're here at McDonald Elementary School here in Georgetown, South Carolina. It's a really cool place. Handyman Hal went to school here. And they've asked us to come help set some stuff up to get ready for the school year. So come on, let's go get ready. Check this place out. This is a second grade classroom. We're getting it all set up for them. We got three rows of desks and chairs. That's really cool. We got one more to set out. Come on, let's get it. Here we go. Here we go. Up right here in line with the other ones. There we go. All right. And the chair. This is really cool. All right. This is really awesome. The teacher's giving them books and little containers for them. That's really cool. So we'll set one out there, one there, one there, and one more container down here at the end. It's green. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's totally awesome. Now it's all set. Oh, let's try it. Oh, looks good. Oh, pick me. Pick me, I know the answer. It's four. Oh, is it going to school? Totally awesome. You get to learn so many cool things. Look. I even got my cool book bag. Uh oh, do you have a book bag? Wonder what you got inside yours. Let's see. Well, I got my notebook. See, 
It's my notebook. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Oh, we gotta have this. It's construction paper. Can I use that later? Oh, let's see here. It's one compartment. Oh, let's see. What's the next compartment? Oh, let's see here. Oh, look. I even got my pencil box. Oh, let's see what's inside. Oh, let's see got all our pencils. Oh, glue stick. Oh, and of course, my eraser. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, I got that in there. Let's see. Oh, look. We even got scissors. Yep. Okay. Get those out. Let's see here. One more. One more compartment. Oh, and last but not least, a picture of mama. Look at there. There we go. We're all set. And look, this is where the teacher sits. It's her desk. And she does some really cool stuff here, like gray papers with like the red pen. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then she gets really used really cool stuff like this. Look at this oversized money. This is really cool. Oh, what is that? It's a $1 bill. And it even goes up to, it's a $20 bill. That's cool. That's really cool. And also, you get to learn about change and coins. That's cool. And oh, there's one. What is that? It's a quarter. It's 25 cents. That's cool. Uh -huh. She gets to have so much fun. She even gets to take attendance. Well, let's take attendance. Are we ready? Get our red pen out. All right, let's go down the list. How? How are you here? I'm here. <laughs> oh, let's see. Miss Denise. Denise? Yeah. Oh, she's here. Oh, let's see. Aaron. Here. Aaron's here. Oh, this is so much fun. Timothy. Present. Oh, he's here too. Jacqueline. Right here. Oh, there she goes. Awesome. And our last on our list is Blake. Blake, are you here? Present. There he goes. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, wow. My friends, we're having such an awesome time here at school, getting it set up for all the students. Oh, school's so fun. Even this next room, it's one of my favorite places in school. It's the library. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, they call it the media center. Come on, let's check it out. Oh, this is gonna be totally awesome. Come on. Oh, look at this. Oh, we got all kinds of cool books in here and shelves. We even got tables and chairs. That's really cool. Oh, check this out. This is the librarian's desk. Oh, totally cool. This is where they sit right here. They can type on this computer. Oh, and they get to check out books using this really cool machine. Oh, that's really, really, really cool. Oh, oh you got a book you want to check out? Oh, yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, this one's cool. It's about football. That's really awesome. All right, let's scan it. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, you got some more. Oh, yeah. Let's see what you got. All right, let's see here. Oh, this one's really cool. It's about basketball. I really like basketball. Let's scan that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and one more. All right, cool. Let's see. Oh, this one's about baseball. You must really like sports. Oh, that's really cool. All right, scan that there. That's good. All right, well, you're all set. Totally awesome. Have fun reading those books. Hello, thanks for calling the Media Center. This is Handyman Al. Oh, hey. Well, of course we have books about dinosaurs. Oh yeah, and of course we got them about race cars too. That's awesome. We'll see you soon. <laughs> totally awesome. Well, I kind of want to check out some books myself. Come on, let's go. Look at these really cool things. These are called shelf markers. They mark your place where your books are so you don't lose that spot. Oh, let me pick a few out. Oh, we got an orange one oh, and a blue one. Two of my favorite colors. You can choose whatever color you want. That's totally awesome. Come on, let's go check out some books. Oh, this is gonna be really cool. Let's see. Oh, this is cool. Let's look here. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, this one's cool. It's called Smile, because I love this smile. That's awesome. So we take one of our shelf markers and we slide it right in the hole so we don't lose that spot. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, let's see here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, this one's even cooler. It's about polar bears. I really like polar bears. Oh, that's cool. So we take our next shelf marker and we slide it right in there. Cool. 
That's awesome. Well, let's set these to the side because we've got to get some more stuff set up for all these students. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, my friends. Look at this. This is called the reading area. This is where students come and sit and the librarian reads books to them. They got this really cool big rug right here. Let's roll it out. Oh, oh wow, that was a lot of fun. Look how cool this rug is. Oh, got all kinds of cool pictures. Oh, look, they've got a car. Oh, look, a whale. Oh, and even a dinosaur. That's really cool. Oh, so the students sit right here and the librarian, they get to have this really comfortable chair. Oh, and they get to read all kinds of cool books to the students. Oh, that's really cool. Is it going to the library so much fun? It really is. So we'll put that book right back in there, just like that. Oh, and they've got these really cool stands. Look at this. Gotta use some muscles, they're kinda heavy. Oh, oh. These are really cool that students can sit on. They got a lower level and even a higher level. Oh, we can slide that right over there. Right, right. One right there. We got two more, let's see. Oh yeah. Ah. Ah. There's one right there. Let's put the other one over there. Here we go. Whoa, here we go. Oh yeah. Look in there. This is really cool. So now the students can sit and they can listen to a wonderful story. That's awesome. Come on, let's see what else we can get ready. Oh, look. Look at all of these cool books. Oh, there's so many. I wonder how many there are. Maybe hundreds. Oh, maybe thousands. Maybe millions. Well, at least there's probably millions of words in the books, right? <laughs> That's awesome. These are totally cool. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's go around here. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, this is cool right here. Oh, yep. These are really cool. Oh, let's go get these set up. Come on, let's go. Oh. oh, wow. My friends, check this out. These are called reading blocks. They're really cool. We're in another section of the library where you can read. We're gonna pull these off and get these set up. Check this out. This one's green and light green. Well, it's almost like a whole circle. Looks like somebody took a bite out of it. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, let's get these out. We got that one. This one's cool. It's an orange and red one. That's really cool. All right, we got another green one here. And look, that one's a whole circle. That's really cool. All right. Let's see, oh, we've got a blue one. Oh, it's really cool. And you can just take these and sit on them and you can read. And they're really cool. If they make really cool shapes, you can put them together like that. Look, oh, that's really cool. It looks like a flower. Let's see if we can get another one on here. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is gonna be really cool looking. Oh, look, how cool is that? It's like a big flower that you can sit on and read. Well, they got a really cool coloring station here in the library. They got some really cool color pencils. We gotta get them sharp, ready to go. Cause some of them's broke. Like this one, it's white. Oh, so let's sharpen it. Here we go. Oh, that's a cool sound. Oh, check this out. Ah, oh, it's nice and sharp. That's cool. Let's stick that in there. Oh, this one's cool. What color is this? That's right, it's pink. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Oh, we got one more here. Oh yeah, it's yellow. Here we go. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. That makes it really sharp. Ooh, might have done, done a little too much, but 
It's sharp. It's ready to go. <laughs> That's cool. Let's take this over to the coloring station. Oh, yeah. Check this out. Oh, it's really cool. Got all kinds of cool pictures for the students to color. That's totally awesome. All right, my friends. We've got these really cool, interesting books. We've got to put on the bookshelf so students can check them out. Come on. Oh, look at this really cool bookshelf. Oh, this is really cool. They, they slip right in here so you can see the covers of them. It's really cool. Oh, did you hear that? It's a, it's a little, it's a little shaky. Let's check this out. Yeah, oh yeah. It's not level at all. But that's okay. Handyman's got a plan. Oh yeah. We need some safety glasses on here. Oh, look, I even got my drill. So let's tighten some of these screws up here. Oh, oh, there we go. The one right here. edges on this. So we gotta fix those. Alright, I'm gonna cut my sander here. Shh, this is a library. Guess it is a little loud for a library. Oh man. But we made a mess. We need to clean it up. I got it. I'm almost done. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, well, we're all finished. So now we get to put our books up. Oh, check this out. We got tornadoes. Oh, things about plants. That's cool. Oh, yeah, check that out. That's an alligator. Oh, and ice cream. And earth. And even the oceans. Oh, that's really cool. Now the students can see them and check them out. That's awesome. Now comes a really fun part. We get to be really creative. We got to set up our bulletin board. These are really cool. We can use these for encouragement, even for positivity. They come in all different kinds of things. Hmm, I wonder what we could do. I got a great idea. Let's make it a construction thing. It's going to be awesome. All right, well. First, we gotta cover it with some paper, so we gotta measure it. Got our tape measure. Woo, there we go. All right, let's see here. Let's stretch it right out across there. All the way, oh, up, almost there, all the way down to this end. We're at four feet. All right, so we got four feet one way. And let's go from the bottom to the top. Let's see. Oh, we're at four feet there too. So now we just gotta get some really cool paper to cover it. Come on, let's go. We got our blue paper. Uh -huh. This is totally awesome. One of my favorite colors. So now we got to get it up here. Just like that, just like that. Oh yeah, this is gonna be really cool. All right, so now we need a stapler. Oh, here we go. You got to open it just like that. There we go. Oh. <laughs> there we go. This is gonna be cool. All right. So we're gonna put a staple right here to hold it in place, Ugh. just like that. Oh yeah, and one right here. All right, let's staple it all the way around. Okay, up, up, up. Let's see, there, one there, some right over here. Oh, just a few more staples. One there, one there. All right, we're all good. Now we get to put some really cool signs on it. Check out this. It's like a little tool bag. And it says handyman. It's really cool. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, this is cool. Oh, yeah. Tools for success. Let's put that at the top. This is gonna be really cool. All right, let's see. Maybe somewhere like right here. I think that's awesome. There we go. One there. I'll make it straight. Oh, and one there. It's really cool. All right, let's see what else we got. See here. Oh, this one's cool. Never stop learning. It's like a stop sign. That's cool. All right. Get this one on here. Let's see. Right here. This one looks kind of cool. Ah. Oh, yeah. What else we got? All right. Let's see. Oh, kids at work. That's a cool sign. A 
looks like a road sign. All right, one at the bottom there. Oh, there we go. That was really cool. All right, what else we got in this cool bag? Oh, this one's nice. This one says work hard and stay humble. That's really encouraging. Right here in the middle, one at the bottom. <laughs> it's really cool. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, we even got some really cool tools, like a saw. Oh, yep. Maybe right there. Yeah. Ah. All right. I think we got some more tools in here. Let's see here. Oh, yep. One of my favorites. It's a hammer. That's awesome. Put one right here. Let's see. There you go. All right. And oh, we even got some cool safety cones. That's really cool. All right. We'll put one right here. Oh, maybe one down here. Let's see what else we got. Let's see. Oh, this one's really cool. It's a yield sign, but it says smile. We always like to smile, right? I'll oh, put this right here at the bottom. Ah. Ah. Yeah, that's totally awesome. Well, let's finish it up. This is gonna be really cool. A couple more staples there. One there. One there. Oh, one there. Oh, look at this. This is just totally awesome. Oh, even added a wrench in there. Even added a level. And of course, we've got real caution tape around the outsides. We got a hole right here. Let's put one more right there. Oh, yep. Yeah. Here we go. This even got a wrench on it. It says, make it work. Oh, this is really cool. Oh man, so there it is. It's our bulletin board. It's all set up to encourage students to do their best. And I hope you do your best in school too. That's awesome. Well, the last thing to do today is buff the floor so we can make it nice and shiny. Well, we've got a really cool industrial sized floor buffer here. We've got it plugged in. So let's see how it goes. <sighs> Handyman Hal, please report to the principal's office immediately. Uh-oh. Well, I'm here. Hopefully I'm not in too much trouble. Always remember to be quiet in the library. Until next time, see you later. Yep, yeah, right, oh, a little bit. Oh, hey my friends, it's me, Handyman Hal. And we're at this awesome playground today. And we're working on this cool school bus play equipment. How cool is this? Check this thing out. It's nice and bright and yellow. And right here, we just finished putting on the front here. This is like the grill. Yep, and we got the lights and the blinkers. Oh, that's really cool. And down here at the bottom, check this out. We got these really cool springs that makes it move. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's totally awesome. We're almost done. We got a few more things to put on. Come on, let's walk around here. Let's get this wheel on. Check this out. Oh, this wheel's really, really cool. Look at it. That's really cool. It's black and it's white. And it's got one, two, whoop, three, four. It's got five spokes. That's really cool. All right, so this is what we're using today. We got a drill. Oh, that's cool. And then also in my tool belt here somewhere. Oh, there it is. We've got our wrench. Uh huh. That's the tools we're using today. Put this really cool equipment together. All right, so we're gonna slide this wheel right on the side here. Yep, and we've got a nut that goes on the back side. That right there. All right, all right, nice and snug there. We're gonna take our drill and we're gonna tighten it up just like that right there. Ah, there it is, all set. Look, it even spins. That's really, really cool. Oh, let's do the steering wheels. Oh. Come on, let's see here. These are really, really cool. They're red steering wheels. Oh, that's really cool. See, we've got some back there too. We've got one, two, three, four. We got a five and six. Oh, so let's get these on real quick. Put one right there, just like that. We've got some washers. The washer goes on there. All right, 
And we've got the nut there. I'm gonna take that and twist that on there really good. Yep. And then we're gonna get out of the wrench. Let's look in our tool belt. Oh, there it is. All right. We're gonna slide that on there just like this. And of course, this is really cool. It's an adjustable wrench. You see? It moves in. Oh. And it moves out. That's really cool. So we got to make sure it's adjusted just the right size. Right. right. There, there we go. Awesome. And then we're just going to twist. And it's going to tighten it up some, I think. Oh, let's see. Oh, there we go. We're getting there. Oh, just some twists and turns there. It's really cool. It's how you know if you're tightening it or you're losing in it, righty tighty or lefty loosey. Uh, that's really cool, right? Let's see, just a few more turns here. Ah, just a few more turns there. I think we should be okay. Ah, ah, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, I think we're good. I think it don't go on anymore. There we go, yep, awesome. Let's go to the other one. Oh yeah, here we go. This will be the last steering wheel. Aren't these really cool? Oh yeah. Slide that in right there. There we go. Got to get our washer. Slide it on. And our nut. Right there. Oh yeah, there we go. And then we get our adjustable wrench back out. And we tighten it. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, let me use my right hand. There we go. Oh. Let's see. There we go. Oh, we got it that time. Oh, yeah. I think it's working great. All right, just a few more twists and turns here. Right here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get in there. There we go. Here we go. All right. I think we're good to go. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, wow. This is going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. That's great. One last thing to do is to put on the last touch at the top of the school bus. Check this out. It says school bus. Spell it with me. S-C-H-O-O-N-L. That spells school. And then here we got B, we got U, and S. That spells bus. That's really cool. Oh, so let's get this on. Got our drill. We need some really cool things here. Look at this. We got some screws and some rivets. Oh, that's really awesome. All right, so our drill right there. Let's get this on here. I'm gonna slide that right there. We're gonna take a rivet. We're gonna put it right in the back there, just like that. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna get our drill out. See if we can drill this together real quick. Right there. Oh yeah. There it is. Oh yeah. Nice and snug there. All right. Oh, we're dropping them. Make sure we don't lose them. Oh yeah. So we got another rivet and a screw. We're gonna take it and slide it into place there first. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's really cool. All right, get that in place. We're gonna put the rivet in the back here, just like that. It's gonna hold, yeah, there we go. And then take our drill and screw it away. Check it out. Nice and snug on that side. We got one more to do. Let's get that out of our tool belt. We've got a screw and we've got one more rivet. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So we're gonna take that screw, get it in there. Yeah. Right in the middle of the O. All right. Take that rivet, put it in the back there. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Oh yeah. And we're gonna take the drill and drill it. All right, let's see, almost there. Oh yeah, nice and snug, make sure they're all good. One more there. Oh yeah, and it's all set. 
Check out this really cool school bus. Ah, now comes the best part. Let's test it out. Oh, let's see. Let's see here. Oh, oh this is really cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, remember the springs on the bottom? That's what's making it move all over the place. <laughs> wow, this is totally cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's be the best driver. Oh, yeah. Up and over. Oh, this is going to be really, really cool. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Everybody hold on. This is awesome. This is totally cool. Let's try the back. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Up and over. Up. Oh, look, this one's cool. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's cool. We got some bumps in the road. Ring-a-ding, ring-a-ding, ring-a-ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a that's the alarm clock. Rise and shine, you know what that means, it's time for school and school just rocks. Let's get dressed, put on your clothes and don't forget your socks. It's breakfast time, I'm feeling fine, brush those teeth and give your face a wash. Beep, 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 you know what's outside, it's the school bus come to give us all a ride. Clean. The doors are open wide The stop signs will help keep us safe So we can give the driver a high five uh. I look around and find a seat Right next to my best friend Then beep beep broom and off we go One big loud roar straight from the engine Smiling kids all over town The wheels on this school bus go round and round Handyman Hal is your most trusted handyman for all your repair needs. Need an amazing lemonade stand? How about help with learning shapes and colors? Trouble fueling your airplane? Handyman Hal can do it all. No job is too big or small for Handyman Hal. Whether your car wash needs repair or you need to get rid of some expired groceries, you can count on Handyman Hal. Give him a call today. The handyman that's got a plan. Handyman Hal. Handyman Hal is a fun kids show, and we want to say thanks for watching. Handyman Hal, I got a job for you. Can you help me? Handyman Hal, I got a job for you. We're gonna need all of your handy tools. Handyman Hal, job for you. Can you help me? Handyman Hal, I've got a job for you. You're gonna fix it cause that's what you do. Looks like my car broke down, nowhere to go. I'm stuck out here on the right side of the road. What will I do? Wait a second, oh yes I know. Handyman Hal's got a 
truck gonna give me a tow? In the tow truck, in the tow truck. Handyman, hell, I got a job for you. Can you help me? Handyman, hell, I got a job for you. We're gonna need all of your handy tools. Handyman, hell, I got a job for you. Can you help? Can you help me, handyman? Handyman, hell, I got a job for you. You're gonna fix it, cause that's what you do. Something is wrong. to do is float. Please start, little motorboat, please start. What will I do? Wait a second, oh yes I know. The handyman can fix it with the drill and away we go. Woo! Handyman, how I got a job for you. Can you help? Me? Can you help me, handyman? Handyman, how I got a job for you. We're gonna need all of your handy tools. Handyman, how I got a job for you. Can you help me? Oh, can you help me, please? Man, hell, I got a job for you You're gonna fix it, cause that's what you do What are we gonna do with this big old pile of bricks? Big old pile, yes, big old pile So many of them lost count after number six One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, no. What will I do? Wait a second, oh yes I know Oh yes I know How's got a forklift, he can shift them like a pro Tools. Handyman, how I got a job for you. 